पंचाकल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमो महाबदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाने गौरतिशे नम गुरव गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदाल कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो यं प्रव्रजतमुपेतमेत दैपायनो विरह कातरयाजुहव पुत्रे तन्मयतया तर्वोभिनेदु तं सर्वूतहृद मुनिमानुस्मी तवैवास्मी तवैवास्मी न शिवा जयामी राधे तय मम चरण के फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल माई मिलियंस ऑफ हम्बुल फीट ऑफ माई परमाराध्यतम गुरुदेव श्री भक्ति प्रज्ञान के सौरस्वामी महाराज एंड दिस एम इन दोड फीट ऑफ माई शिक्षा गुरु ओम विष्णु पास भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज लास्ट डे वी ग्लोरिफाइड ने From so many epics, especially from Bhagavatam and Rupa Goswami and from others, why I told and why I managed that you should know and you should take fully ashram the lotus feet of Hari Nam in Kalju worshiping will not do, tapasya will not do, meditation will not do. Oh, it may be after some time in future, demons will come and take all your duties, and they will give it devotion. And you will be so weak that you will have to give up automatically. It is now somewhat beginning of Kaliyo, so going on, but in the end. Everything will be spoiled. Then only name something. Anyone can teach it away. Any can the darkest cannot take it. So you should be always give impression to Hari Nam. Hari Nam. Hari. If you are worshiping, if you are remembering and doing something, but it's still. You will have to get fresh on Har Harina. So I told. Now I want to give example from Sri Madhavatam. Ajam. Can you? No. You can you? If not, then you should remember. First of all, why Sukadev Goswami told this history? What was the reason? What was the question? And who questioned? Answer. Then you can do. What was the question? Who asked and who is answering? <laughs> By the mercy of Gurudev and his order, I will try to narrate a little bit about Ajamil. So, in the Shrimad Bhagavatam, King Prakrit, who was fasting. Because he knew that he was going to be bitten by a snake in ten days by a snake bird due to a curse. Seven days. Did I say ten? Six days. <laughs> so 
Srila Prabhupada comments that he was very fortunate. He knew he had seven days to live. So he gave up everything and he fasted and he went and took shelter of Shukadeva Goswami and asked him what should one's activities be, what should one's uh, meditations be, what should his engagements uh, and activities be if one knows he's about to die. He knew he was going to die in seven days, but we don't know how long we are going to live. We may not even have seven moments. One of my God brothers asked Srila Prabhupada, how can I make the most rapid advancement? And he replied, Consider every moment your last. Oh, you should come to the question. What was the question? Who made the so, question? Maharaj Priksha asked Srila Sukadeva Goswami, by what means of atonement should one engage in, in uh, by performing sinful activities? Well, how can one be free from these sinful activities? What means is there to be free from them without them reoccurring? and uh, so that one can make uh, sufficient advancement and progress going back to the spiritual realm. So uh, Sukadeva Goswami narrated the story of Ajamil. He was born in a very, uh, very uh, staunch and elevated Brahmana family. And he, throughout his whole childhood, he engaged in uh, activities of devotion to the Supreme Lord. He had all knowledge of the Vedic literatures completely versed in uh, the Shastra and practiced devotional activities. And he had a very qualified Brahminical wife as well and children. So one day in his travels through the forest, picking fruits and leaves, he came upon some Shudras that were engaged in abominable activities as is common for one who does not have sufficient knowledge, there is loose connection with the opposite sex. So he saw, uh, and they were also intoxicated in, on wine, and they were uh, frivolously engaging in activities, and uh, although he tried to withdraw his uh, contemplation of this, then, but he, uh, it remained in his mind. Even though he tried to kick it out, he uh, maintained some attachment to that. Gradually, gradually, gra gradually, by his attachment and absorption in the uh, activities that he witnessed, he gradually became attached and attracted to that prostitute and devised the means to actually engage her in uh, service at his home. So. Uh, then he became more and more attached to her and gradually lost his Brahminical uh, activities and deviated from the path and, be and start began engaging in acts with this prostitute and became so attached to her and gave up his, uh, all of his family responsibilities and uh, even engaged in abominable activities in order to accrue, uh, accrue uh, money to satisfy her and give her gifts to satisfy her so then he uh, could continue engaging in these nefarious activities with her. Thank you. Very good. Gananjana Shalakaya Chakshu and Militam Jena Tasmai Sri Guruve Namaha. So, as Sripad um, Sajan Maharaj, he's mentioned that Maharaj Brikshit, he asked the question why is it that somebody may perform some atonement, but after performing that atonement, then they may again go and perform sinful activities again? that it seems that just performing atonement is not enough. But what kind of atonement is it that one can perform whereby not only the um, sinful reaction is eradicated, but the desire to perform the sinful activity, that that is also eradicated. I gave the example that just as you have a bamboo tree and you have dry leaves which are there by the base of the bamboo tree, those dry leaves which they may be burnt up but still the root of the tree is still there. 
So similarly, we may perform so many activities of reformation or prayaschita according to the Vedic um, rules and regulations. But these activities, though we become free from the sinful activity, we don't become free from the desire. The example is given, if you have a forest fire and all the trees in the forest are completely burnt, um, but in due course of time, when it starts to rain, then those roots which are underneath in the ground, then they will come up again and then the, flor the forest will come. So, Shukadev Goswami, he explained um, that to, 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 to perform some kind of atonement whereby not only the sinful activity is removed, but also the desire, he said, that one who engages in um, unalloyed devotion service to the Lord, that then not only uh, is one freed from the sinful activities, but also the desire to perform sinful activities are completely eradicated by pure devotion service. So to give, um, to explain this and explain the glories of the holy name, which is the foremost and prom most prominent activity in pure devotion service, then this story of Ajamil is being narrated. Ajamil, Ajamila. Uh, Ajamila, Ajamil. So. Oh, I think that uh, here uh, flies are very trendy in any. University. Attacking everyone. So, so as Maharaj has explained, um, Sripad, Sajan Maharaj has explained, that Ajamil, that he was um, born to a very, to an aristocratic family. He was a Brahmana by birth. He was trained in Brahminical activities. He performed all his Brahminical activities. But by chance, he was going in the forest and he saw a shudra and a prostitute um, engaged in some intimate activities. And his mind became so disturbed. Immediately, he tried to remove this from his mind by remembering um, different um, quotations from the Shastras and engaging in his activities, Brahminical activities. But still, this impression was left within his heart. So, in due course of time, he hired this um, lady as, his, as a servant, and as Maharaj has explained, then um, some um, close connection came, and he became so attached to this lady that he kicked out his chaste wife. He had a very um, chaste, brahminical wife, but now, because of his attachment to this lady, he kicked her out, and with this, to satisfy this prostitute, who could not be satisfied, Actually, there's nothing that he could have done which would have satisfied her. But still to satisfy her, he begged, he borrowed, he stole, um, he performed all types, he murdered. He performed all types of heinous activities to try and satisfy this prostitute. But actually, no way he could satisfy her. From this prostitute, he had ten children. And the youngest one, his name was Narayan. He called him Narayan. By this time, he was so um, addicted to sinful activities, that he was already 88 years of age. He was an old man, but still he was procreating. Such is the nature of lust, that when lust is there within the heart, that one, um, even though it is, um, one should be completely absorbed in one's spiritual activities, still one is trying to satisfy this lust, uh, which ultimately can never be satisfied. So, um, in due court, because as Maharaj said, in due course of time, everybody has to die. We do not know when death will come. So, according to his um, karma, his time of death, it had come. So, when he was about to leave his body, then three, three very fierce-looking personalities, they came with ropes. Um, they had um, very, very fierce-looking. And... They came and they came with ropes and took a noose to tie around his soul and to pull him out of his body. Ajamil, he became so afraid that not knowing what to do, his little son was just close by playing and calling out, Oh Narayan, Oh Narayan, Oh Narayan. And calling out Narayan, the Yamadutas, they were still going to pull, pull the soul out of the body. But then appeared four Vishnu Dutas, um, very, um, very, very fulgent, 
with golden helmets, dark complexion, very beautiful um, blackish hair, um, beautiful lotus eyes, reddish lotus lips with four arms. Uh, so they came and immediately they accosted the Yamadutas. They said, oh, what are you doing taking this man? How is it possible that you want to take him? And then the Yamadutas, immediately they replied that he has performed sinful activities and it is our duty to take those who have performed sinful activities. Then the Vishnadutas, they said, so now you tell us, give us the, tell us who, is, who are those people who have performed sinful activities and explain to us those people who should be taken to the abode of Yamaraj. So then the Yamadutas explained that in this material world, all conditioned souls, they engage in pious and impious activities. By performing these pious and impious activities, they become entangled within the three modes of material nature. Being entangled within the three modes of material nature, then their karmic activity must act. So everybody is engaged in sinful activities. Nobody in this material world is free from um, the reaction of having some kind of sinful reaction. Only those who engage in devotional service, transcendental devotional service, by that transcendental devotional service, it burns up all the reactions of their sinful activities of the past and the present. But other than devotees, that all are, all are there. Even one, they may be engaged in the, in the process of Gyan. And by the process of Gyan, they may apparently be free from all sinful um, activities. But still, the desires to perform sinful activities, they're still there within the heart. So only bhaktas are free. So in this way, they were, the Yamadutas were explaining very, very nicely and elaborately how all living entities in this material world performing their material activities, whether good or bad, in the heavenly planets, in the hellish planets, in the middle planetary systems, that all are under the reactions of karma and consequently are under the um, jurisdiction to go to Yamaraj. Then the Vishnu Dutas, they said, oh, you are coming here on behalf of Yamaraj. But look, Yamaraj, he is like a king who knows what is right and what is wrong. He knows he's also very, very um, kind-hearted and compassionate towards all his subjects. But you're not representing. You do not, you're coming in assembly discussing religious principles, but you do not know what true religious principles are. And the Yamadutas, they were surprised. They said, oh, how are you speaking such? And then they explained that this Ajamil, that actually he's faultless because he has chanted the name of, of the Lord. And one who's chanted the name of the Lord, even once, then he becomes freed, uh, even once, without offense, then he becomes freed from all sins that can be performed in the past, in the present, and in the future. So you have no right to take this person to the abode of Yamaraj. And because these Vishadutas were very, very powerful, and at the same time presenting conclusive knowledge, then the Yamadutas, um, seeing their power and also their, their, their um, knowledge of scriptures, they became bewildered and they went back to, um, to Yamaraj. You should hear very carefully and try to follow in your practical life. So at, at this point, as Shiva Bhaktivedanta Ashramarsh has explained, the Yamadudas had described the glories of the holy name to the Yamadudas. That all those years, they said the first time he chanted his son's name, Narayan, because he did so without offense. Although he was indirect, he didn't mean to address the Supreme Lord. He was just affectionately addressing his son. That the first time he addressed with Nama Bas, a shadow or a reflection of the name. It's not written there. Hmm. You should tell carefully. Yes. In the explanation we of Vishwanatha, so don't explain. You should go on. Then after that, you can. That all his past sins had been relieved. So now. Ajamil had heard again, again repeat what you are going to tell. The uh, glories of the holy name and then Ajamil's uh, what what you told. The Ajamil had 
chanted a Nama Bas, and this had destroyed all sins of his life. And because he'd continued chanting Narayan to his son, and at the end, when he chanted in complete anxiety, because he had not chanted with offense, Aparad, that Nama Bas had saved it him from... He has not written all these things. I'm sorry, we read that today. In the As it, uh, he, uh, it is written that uh, uh, he did not uh, do any Vaishnava Aparad there. No, uh, it said he had not committed Aparad, that he had chanted no, Nama Bas. No, not Bas. written? Purport, yes. Not in the Moon Not in Moon Slope. Uh? Not in Moon Try to go on first on moon, then purport. Okay. Don't do any conclusion. So at this point, Ajamil, uh, two stories happened. The Yamadudas went back to Yamaraj and they were confused. They said, you're a Dharmaraj, Lord of Dharma, and you sent us to uh, capture these uh, sinful entities, living entities, and we thought we understood everything about the the nature of Dharma or religion. So, but now we've been defeated in a scriptural debate with these representatives of Narayan. So please explain to us what we, what we did wrong or what we're not understanding. So at that point, the Amaraj... Did they told that, oh, at first you know, uh, we used to know that only you are the Supreme, Supreme, Supreme Lord. Lord. Mm -hmm. eh? And you make rules and regulation. But there are how many controllers in this world? Has he been told? Yes, yes. that's right. So why you are not telling uh, This part we didn't read today. <laughs> <laughs> Very many at least. Otherwise, how we can preach the mission? Yes, we're traipsing around the West. Very carefully. So, he said, Dharmam to Sakshat Bhagavat Pranitam. That the Dharma or the rules of religion are directly enunciated by the Supreme Personality of God in Himself. You've been thinking that I'm the Supreme Controller because I'm your Lord and Master, but actually I'm only one of twelve authorities in the matter of Dharma. Uh, Brahma, Narada, uh, Vyas, Kapila, Shiva, uh, Bali, Bhishma, uh, Shukadev, and Prahlad and myself these 12 Mahajans, we know what are the processes of religion and we are all representatives of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So in this way he corrected his associates. Meanwhile, uh, Ajamil, having heard this discussion between Vishnu Dutas and Yama Dutas, he immediately, uh, coming back into his body, he left that sinful place, his home, his family, his prostitute wife, ten children, he left everything and he went to Haridwar and there he chanted the holy name uh, because, because he, now he had had some sadhu sangha with Vishnu Dutas, his chanting was more powerful and he had heard the glories of the holy name. So his chanting became eventually pure Shuddhanam and at that time the, the Vishnu Dutas came again in their... Thank you. Can you explain more? What more? You? You more? Deeply? Something? No. What discussion was between Jam and his dudes? I was with him. <laughs> Can you? All of them? What discussion? Tan an ayadvam asato. Beginning from what discussion, what the jam told and what he answered. Very thoroughly you should read. One point. Then so many good jamas may come. So, the discussion was going on that who will be taken to Hellish planet? What jam told to Jam Maharaj? Yamdut told to Yam Maharaj, we thought as before, you are the supreme controller, but is there any more controller than you? What, then Yam Maharaj, what happened? They were beaten by four very affluent personalities so badly. Who are they? Then Yam Maharaj told, 
maybe you met with my Prabhu's messenger, then just who is your Prabhu? And to whom we shall bring to your holy planet? The Jammara told, Yivana Bhakti Bhagavad Gunanama Dheyam Chetas Chanas Marathi Jan. Master is Narayan. Yamara I told my master is saying Holi. He is one of the most insignificant Das. I am is one of his most insignificant servant. So I am giving you some instruction where to go and where not to go. Then yes, they told yes, Prabhu, please give me instruction where to go. Then Yamara I told, Jivana Bhakti Bhagavad Guna Nama Dheyam Chetas Chanas Marathi Jacharana Rabindam कृष्णायन नमोति जच्छिराये कादोपि तान आनयत्थ मसतो सक्रित अक्रित विष्णु कृत्यवान जीवान बक्ति भगवत गुनो नामो धेयम हुस चांग नेवर चांड भगवत नेम सो इट्स मेंशन इन स्क्रिप्चर दैट यू पर डूइंग सो मेनी अस्टरिटी सो मेनी फायर सक्रिफाइस स्टिल यू हैव टू कम इन दिस प्लैनेट दशस्व मेधि पुनरोपि जाति Krishna pranami na punar bhavaya. If you are doing asamil yoga, raisya yoga, but still you have to come in this world in the circle of endless birth and chain and birth of death of chain. But if you pranam, if you do pranam to Krishna once, you have not to do, not to come in this world anymore. So jivana bhakti bhagavat guna nama dhyam. When whose jiva not qualified, not utter the quality of Bhagavan. Tongue, gun and nam. Bhagavan has so many names. Just like we have heard yesterday. Agadha mana jasada ananda no nanda suno. Kamala naya gopi chandra brinda vanindra. Pranada karana krishna betta naka sarupe. Toila chuchai bardha tang nama dheya. Moreover, Sila Sanatana Vasami has written, Sri Krishna Gopala Hare Mukunda Govinda He Nanda Kisora Krishna Hasi Yasoda Tanaya Prasida Sri Ballabhi Jeevana Radhi Kesa So, Guna Nama Dheyam Chetaschana Smarati Jacharanara Vindam Whose mind never remember the lotus feet of Krishna Chetacharanara Vindam Krishna Yana Namati Jachira Eka Dopi Whoever never go down in the lotus feet of Krishna they are sinner. Go to them and bring to my hellish planet. Only they are qualified to come in this hellish planet. Whoever do all these things, don't go there anymore. And who has Tilak, Urdhapunda Tilak, Kanthimala, don't go to there. And who is remembering Krishna? Lalate Tilakam Nasti, Kanthe Nasti Trikantika, Hridaye Govinda Nasti, Whoever not put any tilak on their forehead, who has no three kantimala, and whoever never remember Govinda, they are like Brahma Rakshas, like Phantom. Go and soon you should bring them. Go and bring them in my hellish planet. So by this way, Yam Maharaj told to his messengers to tour the whole world. Who will come to Hellish planet? If you are not doing so, then we have to go Hellish planet. Or if you are not doing, just opposite, we are doing putting Tila, Trikanti Mala, remembering Bhagavan, we are respecting Hari Guru Vaishnavas, then we have never to go to Hellish planet. Here, the Krishna and Namati means here two Krishna, one Ashtai Krishna and Vishay Krishna. Means Bonafide Gurudev and Vishay Bhagavan. So you have to remember and go down to both of them. Under guidance of Banafet Guru, that we have to do all these things. Then we will be removed from sinful activity, otherwise not possible. Then what became? The last. Then Ajamil, when he heard all these things between Yam, messenger of Yam and Vishnudut, then to, oh, then he came back in his body again. They said, oh, I am spending my time uselessly. He gave up everything and went to Haridwar. Going there, he chant holy name again. Oh, so name is so powerful. I don't know even that Narayan is the name of Bhagavan. I only chant for my son. But Bhagavan is so merciful. He delivered me from this death. 
So being in Haridwar, always chanting holy name, Bhagavan's name, Narayan name. After then death came, then same four Vishnu Dut came to him with aeroplane. Then he told, and they, they request him to come in aeroplane to go to Vaikuntha planet. Then he asked, I have one question to you. Well, yes, you can ask. As before, when you appeared, then I want to touch your feet. But you not allow me to touch feet, not talk with me, you disappeared. Now you came and talking with me and asking to be in an airplane to go in Vaikuntha planet. What is the cause? They told, as before which you did, you did for your son, did in Bhagavan's name, it be Namabhas. Now you chant holy name, pure Nam. So now you are qualified to go Vaikuntha planet. So we are talking with you and we came personally to take you to Vaikuntha planet. So you can come and come to Vaikuntha planet with us. So they took him to Vaikuntha planet. Our Guru Vargas, they give conclusion. Why Ojamil doing so sinful activity? And why he became qualified to go to Vaikuntha planet? Though he did sinful activity, but he never did Vaishnava Aparat. Vaishnava is very extremely dangerous. If you do Vaishnava Aparat, then what will be? Then, Upareva Chindatar Sukhi Jaya Pata. Your Bhakti will be uprooted. None can save you. So, you have to know what is Vaishnava Aparat. Hanti Nindanti Vaidyasti, Vaishnava Nabhi Nandati, Kruddhati Jati Naharsa, Darsane Patata Anisat. If you kill any Vaishnava, or if you criticize any Vaishnava, if someone is criticizing, you are supporting, you are also Vaishnava Paradhi. So, Hanti Nindanti Vaidyasti, if you are envious towards Vaishnava, and if any Vaishnava is coming, superior to you must go ahead and welcome him. If you do not do so, especially superior Guru is coming, not doing so, then Vaishnava Parad. Vaishnava Annavi Nandati, Kruddhate Jati Na Harsa. Seeing Vaishnava, you become very angry. It is one kind of Vaishnava Parad. And seeing Vaishnava, if you have not become happy, then it's Vaishnava Parad. Six types of Vaishnava Parad. By this way, Patatani Sat, you go to, bound to fall down. So whoever will do so, they bound to fall down. If anyone do it for any elevated Vaishnava, then they bound to fall down, none can check them. So, Ajamil, though he did sinful activity, but he never did Vaishnava Parad. And how sinful activity will go away? We have heard yesterday, Sakt, Yad Brahma Sakt Sat Kriti Nishta Yapi, Binasa Mayati Binana Bhogai, Apaitu Namna Spurani Na Tatte, Prarabdha Karameti Virauti Veda. Sipa Dharana Maharaj explained yesterday that Prarabdha Karameti Virauti Veda, if you chant one holy name once, then what to, sin, what to tell about sinful activity? Even your all karma will be burnt away. So by this way, Ajamil's all sin burnt away by chanting holy name once only. After that he practiced and by this way he qualified to go to Vaikuntha planet. Hare Krishna. Pancha Kalbataru Pancha Sipa Sindhu Phae Vajra Pati Janan Palami Po Vasna Ve Bona Bona. Very carefully you should understand and hear. Don't chant. Keep up chanting, then you can. If Guru Bhargar giving classes, oh, you should not chant, you should not talk, we should not do. try to take your mind one pointed and otherwise he, this is also a kind of Guru Vaishnava Parat. So I am telling you something, the essence of the, this story, Upakhyan, that first of all you should know that worldly persons they think that what we have done sinful more sinful acts by Subhakarma it can be washed away by fire sacrifice by going Gaya and to give Oh, Pinda and going to Tirtha by this. Huh? But it will not go. Like Ashram Maharaj gave an example. In forest there are so many bamboo trees. Huh? And 
all others may tree uh, burnt up. They will not grow. But only bamboo tree. They have something down. They will come very soon. So, to desire sinful activities, oh, they will not go. Again he will go. Like an elephant, he takes bath in the river, and when he comes out of the river, he takes all dust and fur. Another example. Oh. You are dirty. Suppose you are dirty. Some clay or something in your body. But you want to wash it by any water of what water? Dirty water. Huh? Dirty water. Drainage water. Drainage water. Will it be? So all karms, satkarm even, they are like pet nalas. Drains water. So it will not be that. Only Bhagavan, Krishna, name, root, gum, lila, his bhakti, glorification of all this. Or totally it will be washed. Even a desire to do sinful act. Even a oh, very strong uh, lust or anything. If you will turn. Very uh, strong faith. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, like this. Praying to know all the But you should have faith that all is go. Sada, Ajamil Val, Sadachari. Sadachari means good country. Good character. Good character. And he knew all this Shastra. He was Brahman. But he mixed with any prostitute lady. And then he could not control. He used his whole power, his whole knowledge, even. But he could not do control. He could not control. But at that time, if he had been with any associate of Suddha Vaishnava, like Chaturbhuj Narayan, or any Narad or anyone, then he could have control. But he never went. In fact, he wanted to correct himself. So, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva but if they example that in one second anyone has been liberated from all sinful activities. Can you give any example? It took so many times. Uh, 20, 24 minutes. In a second, Ajami himself. He was dying. And his soul was going, taken by him. In that moment, he only heard a Sadhu Sangha. And at that time, he was initiated by them. Huh? But how he was initiated? By the glories. This is initiation. And he heard the name of Narayan by them. And he took the Harinam Diksha. For them, for this class of devotees, no use of that is slow. That no diksha, no puras charjang, uh, no need for them. Because he was going to die at once. And he chant name, not Narayan Narayan for his son. This was in Amapas. But your name where? Given by Guru. A Guru can, who is practicing, he can give your name. So he heard and by hearing, he was initiated, Krishna. So no need of second initiation, third, fourth, fifth, or any diksha, nothing for them. But for us, 
Everything is essential, more essential. So, Ajamin. In a second, he crossed the level of Namabhas to Sutana. And when he went to Haridwar, he took bath in Ganges. Who is Ganges? Tadiya. And he began to chant Sutanam. Why? Because he was initiated by them. And he knew the glory, realized the glory. And then chanting this name, Prem came. What Prem? As well. And then, oh, he was carried by the four Vishnu Dot to heaven. So this process should be there. This is the essence. You should know that even Jamadut, the messengers of Jam Maharaj, they don't know Bhagavat Tattva. They don't know the glorification of Bhakti and Nam. Only his master Jam, Jam Maharaj, he knows. Jam Maharaj is one, but he, there are two functions. Do you know what? One Jamaraj and one Dharmaraj. Like a district magistrate, his collector and his district magistrate both. When he taking taxes from all his collector. And when he is controlling everything, then he is district magistrate. In likewise, same person, when he is doing good or bad this decision taking and set for sinful activities for a special, then he is Jamara Maharaj. And then when he is Oh, deciding that, oh, he has chanted name. He should not be touched by Jamdu. And he knows the glory of name and bhakti. He now becomes Dharmaraj. So one he is. But even he is function of two kinds. Jamaraj only decide what punishment should be the given to these sinful persons. And dhar, being Dharmaraj then, Oh, he can uh, think about bhakti, whether he has any touch with the bhakti, or the associates of bhakti, or pure Vaishnava, or Tadiya, Ganga, Jamuna, Tulasi, like this. Oh, he will send them to Where? That they are out of my control. So, so uh, himself, Lord Krishna, should decide what to do. He will not do anything. And then Krishna, very mercifully, what he will do? Tate nukam pam susu mikshamano unjan e vat makitam vipa it vat pakkurita pirakan namaste vivit samukhi padish. Then Krishna will think what is favorable for him to correct and to give bhakti at a time. Then he may give you any birth in which. Oh, his associates will come and Sadhu Sang will be done. And he gradually, gradually death. So Krishna now does. And if he gives any suffering, no? then what he does? Oh, like Draupadi, like Prahlad Maharaj. He took them to fire here, there, only to glorify them and to also to help them. So it depends on Krishna what? He wants to do and why he will, how he will oh, help them. How his mercy is coming. So if any devotee is suffering by any disease or by any, by any kind of problem, oh, you should not think that he is sinful. What you should say? Krishna has managed this. For Draupadi, no sin. Pradhan Maharaj has not done it. Sita, why he was left by Ram? Haridas Thakuri was beaten. What sinful act he has done in before? These are not sinful acts. Not by, arranged by Jama, but arranged by Krishna himself. So you should try to reconcile. Jamdutar are not 
qualified to think all this. But Vishnu Dut, they are Sarvakya. What? Oblicians. Omniscience. All knowing. And they know all the kinds of Nigur Tattva Bhakti. Dharma, Adharma, they know all things. Jamdut only Adharma, not Dharma. Jambharat. So, again, one thing. There are so many kinds of sinful acts. They are called Pāp, Mahapātak, Avidya and so many things. Atipātak, Mahapātak, so many. Like if anyone is cutting his Gurudev head. What? If anyone is oh, beating or cutting his mother and father. Mahapātak. If he, anyone is cutting cows, what it is? Or this is like Brahmapā, more than any. To have any illicit some connection with your guru, uh, mother, oh, more than that. So any activities, bad activities for Gurudev, these are not Mahapatak only, Mahaparat more millions times more than Mahapatak. All can be gone. And all only by chanting, remembering of the Lord. But Vaishnava Parat more than Krishna Parat. Vishnu Parat. You will have to go and pray them excuse from that Vaishnava. And if that Vaishnava has passed away, then repent, repent and chant name. And so, any kind of Patak, Mahapatak, all can go away only by O Bhagavan Nam Sankirtan. So, you should have very strong faith in Nam Kirtan. More than your worshipping, more than reading, more than Bhagavat. Reading also, Shraman is good. Oh, speaking for Kanishta and Madhyam, not so. High class of, like Parikhit Maharaj, eh, Sukhde Goswami, Nibhatta Tarshayi Rupa Giyamana. Oh, that is Aushadi of our, otherwise not. One thing more. Oh, I will forget one thing. I told him, Birmingham, that oh, one devotee came, and Vaishnav came, and he was telling that oh, oh, there is difference between Guru and Achar, and Achar is more superior than Guru. Guru can uh, all Guru, but all Guru cannot be Achar. We have never seen and never heard this in our whole life. Up till now, I have not questioned this anywhere I have seen, heard. We th thought that, oh, Guru is same, Acharya is same. Like this. Not different. But we knew that, oh, where it had been told Acharya, it is for Gurudev. But Gurudev, as his prominent and superior, all Archarya are not superior. Like Dona Acharya, Kripa Acharya, so many Acharya. O Shantipani Acharya, Shukra Acharya, Shankara Acharya, all like this. So here in sense of Guru, where for Vaishnav it will be for that. Because Acharya has so many in dictionary. <laughs> but where to what meaning should be taken? Oh, it is very high class. You know that Jivan, what is the meaning of Jivan? Life. Life. Some where it has written the water is life. 
Huh? Where to take this meaning? Oh, you will have to reconcile. So, though Acharya has been told somewhere, like Guru, Acharya Mahabhiji. Okay. Our Acharya uh, Guru Parampar. Uh, oh, like my Gurudev, founder Acharya. Like Swamiji, founder Acharya. So many Acharya, Ramanuja Acharya, Madhva. It has been written. But never it has been written. Oh, Acharya Parampara. Guru Parampara. The relation of Guru and Sisha, not the relation of Acharya and Guru. Everywhere, PC, uh, in Srimad Bhagavatam also. Vayang Dvitiya Nimesha Tashyat Gishat Vitasya Viparinyushme. Tanmaya to Abhijada Vataike Jeshan Guru Devatatma Guru, not Acharya. Also, in Chaitanya Chaitamit, Shiksha Guru, Diksha Guru, Diksha Guru ka jana, Krishna Raswaru, Ohiyar Guru, Vat Pardasha Guru. Huh? What meaning? Pat Pardasha? Ah, that is Guru. Chaitya Guru, himself Krishna. Huh? And Guru, Diksha Guru, Shiksha Guru. There are so many Guru. Never it has been written, Acharya. So, also, also in Shiksha, uh, Mana Shiksha, after that also, Sachi Sunu, Guru Varam. So, we should try to know. But somewhere, Achar means good. And up till now, we were taking this. But that person made a something that Acharya is more don't And what you asked yesterday, I saw very clear. First in Nyas, only Shankalp, Ha. Not he is doing adapting process. But in that, after that, Prapati he is taking. Shelter. He has taken shelter. So, there is some difference. Now, one thing, a question may come. Ajamil, if first name is Namabhas, Namabhas, first friend he kept the name Narayan. And Vishwana Chakvarti has explained like so. And in the last he told, only for his son. Is there a difference, something or not? Difference? Yeah. The first time he yes. said Narayan, then it that is... It was Namabhas. Namabhas, then also... And in the last he told, oh Narayan, for his son, what is this? This is pure name? No. 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 But difference? What? Mariyamanu api. Mariyamanu api means? He was going just to die. At that time he told Narayan Namabhas. So he realized and Vishnu Dut came. There he realized, I am liberated from death. How he realized? At that time. But when he kept name or when he was again and again taking then, oh Narayan, come on, come on, sit on my dad, oh Narayan, where you are, whole life he told. But he could not realize, but he still it was Namabhas. And Vishwanath Chakvarti talking, telling that after that keeping his name, what we told him, it was like a practice. Sadhan. So we should know a name taken generally in his life is one kind. And when in the last, at the time, moment of dying, oh chanting name, very powerful Namabhas. Very powerful. Because in the last, 
at that time one mind is uncontrolled very hard to take na name but ajamil by the mercy of the four baikuntho to oh he came in senses and heard all these things but we cannot kapha baat pitta smarana tatva we cannot smar so like a seed it is given in the earth one thing and it keeps sprout one thing and when it gives fr- fruit a mango seed was given in earth in one day no sprout no fruit after some time it will sprout if proper water earth and air should be there but daily you can open oh it will destroy and when it comes fruit different thing same seed first ankur sprout sprout and other other time in the last fruit so anyone cannot realize when he is chanting nama phast in beginning no but he will realize when when death will come at that time he may realize otherwise not also nama nam havas is there shraddhaya va helaya va bhagavan naramatram ta whether shraddha is there nama bha or not within sanketan parihar